Imagine this, a twin engine pusher, type amphibian aircraft, capable of carrying five passengers or cargo, an aircraft with beautifully sculpted wings, and a classic fuselage shape. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the Piaggio P-136, better known to many as the Royal Gull. This isn't just another aircraft. The Royal Gull is a legend, an icon in aviation history that has made an everlasting mark on those who've had the rare pleasure of seeing one up close and personal. Let's turn back the clock. Piaggio, an Italian manufacturer, was not always into airplanes, originating with Grand Ocean Liners and then gifting the world with the iconic Vespa scooters. Piaggio ventured into aviation in 1915, but the journey wasn't smooth. World War II wreaked havoc and destroyed the factory. Piaggio had to rebuild from the ashes, and like a phoenix, what emerged was truly remarkable. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the post-war era, Piaggio eyed the niche market of small flying boats. Their answer, the P-136. This small amphibian took its maiden flight, August 1948. Its early days saw it powered by Franklin engines with 215 horsepower, the same that powered the single-engined Republic CB. However, while these engines were commonplace for the era, they rendered the aircraft somewhat underpowered. This impacted the aircraft's full potential, especially during critical phases like takeoff and climb. Recognizing this challenge, Piaggio sought a solution to elevate the P-136 to the performance levels they had envisioned. The game-changing answer lay in the Lycoming Geo 480. With the Lycoming's Geo 480s in place, the P-136 did exactly what it was designed for. It flew out of short distances, hauling a lot of weight, and went far and fast. The P-136 operates out of exceptionally small pieces of water, well outperforming airplanes such as the Grumman Widgeon, which it competes with. It also offers a range far in excess of airplanes, such as the de Havilland Beaver, which carries a similar load, and it does it at a much higher speed cruising at nearly 170 miles per hour. Why the pusher configuration? It significantly reduced spray, enhanced de-icing capabilities, lowered cabin noise, and improved engine cooling. Piaggio didn't stop there. They crafted different models for military and civilian use ensuring impeccable comfort, enhanced visibility, and usability. Step aboard the P-136, and you're greeted by easy cabin access, a boon for quick entries and exits. There are specially designed baggage compartments, ensuring your luggage always finds a place. But the magic lies beneath. The bilge compartments are meticulously designed for buoyancy on water. Steering was a breeze with the P-136 efficient water steering mechanisms. No detail was too small for Piaggio. Every feature, every notch, every curve was crafted with intent and purpose. The P-136, because of its boat-like design, flies a bit differently from other planes. It could move smoothly in the air and land quite steeply if needed, thanks to large flaps. The plane's control parts have a fabric cover, and they're balanced well. When flying over water, the controls are have large travel to help avoid objects like floating markers. Large flaps help decelerate the plane with ease. The P-136 wasn't just for leisure. The Italian Air Force deployed it for air, sea rescue operations, and coastal patrol missions. Civilians weren't left behind either. It even caught the eye of the Greek shipping tycoon, Aristotle Onassis, who proudly operated one from his yacht. Francis K. Trekker, hailing from the heartland of Wisconsin, was not just any businessman. He was a man with an eye for innovation and a heart for exploration. On a fateful trip to Italy, intended for business and a bit of leisure, he chanced upon the marvel that was the Piaggio P-136. Its sleek design, combined with its unmatched capabilities, immediately captured his attention. As he witnessed the P-136 glide effortlessly over Italian waters and soar gracefully above historic landscapes, he was more than just impressed. He was inspired. 
The aircraft symbolized not just technological prowess, but also represented a harmony of form and function that was rare in aviation. The Royal Gull wasn't just an aircraft. To Trekker, it was a piece of art in motion. He spent days meeting with Piaggio executives, understanding the aircraft's engineering, its unique features, and its potential to be introduced to a new market. He believed that the American landscape, with its vast coastlines, lakes, and endless skies, was the perfect backdrop for the P-136. Trekker envisioned weekend getaways, coastal patrols, and business trips becoming more elegant and efficient with the Royal Gull's presence in America. His enchantment with the aircraft wasn't just a fleeting fascination. He saw a future where the Royal Gull would bridge cultures, providing Americans with a touch of Italian craftsmanship and innovation. The potential was vast, and Francis Trekker was determined to turn his vision into reality. The Piaggio P-136 took to American skies as the Trekker Royal Gull, with custom modifications catering to North American tastes. It was certified it under the utility category. Even with its premium pricing, the sales numbers were rather decent. It was more than just an aircraft. It was a statement of luxury, performance, and versatility. Even today, the Piaggio Royal Gull's timeless appeal endures with four still gracing the American skies. Passionate aviation enthusiasts have meticulously restored these classics, ensuring their legacy continues to shine. A true testament to their enduring charm is their annual appearance at the Oshkosh Air Venture. Here, amidst a sea of aircraft, the Royal Gulls stand out, drawing admiration and embodying the undying spirit of aviation. Their presence at Oshkosh is not just a showcase, but a cherished tradition, celebrating the aircraft's lasting significance. The Piaggio Royal Gull, with its unmatched design and performance, will always hold a significant place in aviation history, a masterpiece that serves as a reminder of innovation, ambition, and the undying spirit of aviation.